new collection that just launched today and uh, to show you this look that I wear every day. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just feel like playing. I wasn't feeling well this morning, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna film at all, but I'm feeling better and I have some new makeup to play with. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get started and decide as I go along what I wanna use. I have a new foundation that I wanna try. I bought the Clinique Even Better Foundation. This is not new, but I wanted to give this a try. It's, let me see if this matches. The girl at the counter did help me, so it should match. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 106 brush and pounce this into the skin. What I wanna do first is use this Makeup Forever face palette again. I used this in a video last week or a couple weeks ago, and I really liked it. The following day though, I put this on underneath my makeup, which is underpainting, and I liked it a lot. The foundation that I used over top of this was the Dior Face and Body, so I'm gonna give it a try with this though. It was so pretty. I wore it to a girl's brunch and it lasted all day. I really liked it. For my contour, I'm using a Sephora brush number 56. I'm gonna pinch it a little bit and go into this color right here, which is the contour color for me. I am posting a video tomorrow, which will be Saturday. So hopefully this will be up by Sunday or Monday. I'm not sure. Anyway, when I was looking at myself as I was editing, I'm realizing that my natural contour is here, but I actually want my contour to come up higher. So yeah, I'm gonna focus on getting that up a little bit higher because it drags me down a little bit. Right there is the divot, but I'm gonna try to sharpen that up a little bit this time and give my cheeks a lift. I see that all over TikTok. And I do know that it works. I could see it really clearly when I was editing. Boy, if you ever want to know what you look like for real, film yourself. You'll catch everything in a good way. Like, as long as you don't criticize yourself when you're doing it, it's a great way to learn what works and what doesn't. That goes for clothing too. I used to judge myself so harsh when it came to fashion. And then when I started creating videos, I would look at myself back and go, oh, that doesn't look that bad. But in my mirrors and in my eyes, I was thinking, oh, that looks gross and awful. Yeah, you get the truth when you're looking at it on camera. So I am really going up onto my cheekbone. So this is actually my cheekbone right here. It feels weird to put it there. I just turned down my light so you can see better. So on my cheekbone. How strange. I'm gonna go right on my jawline. Now I'm gonna go into this light color here and tap it on the highlight area. And a little bit down my nose, a little bit here and here. I wanna lift that up a little bit too. I've been watching Glow Up on Netflix. I love that show. And boy, oh boy, they're so creative. I remember being that creative, not as good as them for sure, but I used to be so creative. I miss that a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to use my even better foundation and I wanna use a sponge this time. I just realized I forgot my forehead. Definitely wanna go in this area right here. And I am hollowing out here, I'm 52, so that's generally what happens. That's a lot of why this starts falling is because we lose volume in our temples. So don't contour in here. You don't want this to be receding. If anything, you could brighten this up to pull it out. So now I'm gonna use a beauty blender. And the reason I'm using a beauty blender this time instead of a brush is because I really just don't wanna disturb the underneath too much. So I'm just going to pounce it on and blend. I always push this part out with my tongue because that's where I'm sinking in. For my concealer, I'm going to use my Hourglass Vanish. This is gonna be a little bit of a glam look, so I want the coverage. I'm 
I'm gonna let that sit for a second. What lipstick am I gonna use? I think I want something on my lips right away. They're so dry lately. I purchased the Colorstay Satin Ink lip product from Revlon, and this is in the color 20. Should I do this one? Oh, that's an intro. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that tip. Huh. Let's see. I'm gonna try it without a lip liner first because I just wanna see how it applies and then I can tidy up the lip line after. Actually feels really nice. I'm just gonna read what the internet says. Hold on. Surprisingly comfortable. It is very comfortable. Brilliant 16 hour liquid lip color made with black currant seed oil that doesn't dry out your lips. It doesn't feel like it's gonna dry out my lips. I don't know what the staying power is gonna be. I'm gonna let it set for a minute and then do a little test. I always feel like I go a little bit low right there. Oh, I forgot about my concealer. <laughs> oh God, that might have set already. Well, let's see how that goes. No, I didn't contour my nose. I normally don't. I should have with this look. I am not good at this. My nose is crooked. I'm gonna go into this one right here. <laughs> I have to do this so that I'm not facing you because otherwise I can't see. I've got to look straight ahead in my mirror. Putting some foundation over this now to blend it all in. I think that's the best way for me. It's the only way I like it. What do we think? Was it worth it? I know what I'm gonna do. I forgot, I just got a package today. I ordered the Natasha Denona My Dream, my mini dream palette. I already own the big one. I should pull the big one out just to show you. But I saw it and I thought, oh, that's so pretty. My colors, so pretty. This is the large one and you can tell it's well used, I love it. So I'm going to compare. We've got, I don't wanna put glasses on over top of my makeup, darn. I should have thought about this before. So there's one color in this palette that is the same. Otherwise, they're all new colors. Yay. If you don't know already, Natasha Denona eyeshadows are my favorite. They're so good. But those are pricey. So if you wanted to try them, this is a great option. In Canada, I get mine at Beautylish. Sephora doesn't carry Natasha Denona anymore. So I'm going to start off by prepping my eye first. I don't normally wear my hair like this. It's so much easier. It's not my best look, I don't think. I wore these earrings in my last video and the whole time one of them was undone. It was so painful editing. I wanted to fix it. So this is painterly. I saw Natasha Denona apply this the other day. Her look was really pretty. In collection, they just launched today and uh, to show you this look that I wear every day. I'm gonna start off with the shade balance. This is the transition shade in the palette. I'm buffing this all across my crease, a little bit higher than the socket itself. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing she did. I'm gonna take balance. This is a stiffer brush. Maybe I should use a looser brush. So this one is a BK Beauty A503 and make sure that I've patted out any creases and I'm gonna go above the crease like she said. This would have had a lot more deposit and kept it more specific and I wanted more of a blend and a softer shading. So that's why I chose this one. Out of V with my macro take eye crayon in black. Always starting from the lower lash line on the outer third and connecting with the upper third of the lash line and filling in. I don't have her pencil, I have MAC Feline. Did she line the inside of her eye? I don't think so, no. That is too far, Julie, too far. There, that's more like it. Now, Natasha has a different shape of eye than I do. I have, I think, more of a rounded eye. She has more of an elongated eye, I believe. 
line I'm filling in. I mostly love starting with framing the eye because it's like kind of designing the shape and then bringing everything together and blending it out. Okay, so I just want to blend this a little bit with a Q-tip. I have a little bit of draping of my skin here so I have to be careful because you see how this skin is kind of coming over the edge so she used loyalty and went over the edges and smudged that out how far did she go in she keeps it quite to the edge here Next, I'm going to use Loyalty, that's the deepest shade in the palette. I just want to kind of smudge and blend the V and then lifting it up into the crease. Also, don't worry that this is not like perfectly blended in because the next step is going to blend everything and soften. I'm going to use a thicker brush, dipping into that same color. And this still has a point though, so it allows me to be very specific. Did I go too far? And what this eyeshadow also will be doing is setting that eyeliner. Just gonna settle this down a little bit. Here I have to decide, do I wanna pull this up or do I wanna pull this down? You see that there's a little hole right there, right there. I had to stretch my skin out to get into that area. I think that looks better, yeah. This is my difficult eye. I have to stretch that skin out or it's gonna look patchy, it doesn't matter. This is also divoting here a little bit. Don't know what this hand was doing. This is where you really have to consider the shape of your eye. Okay, I know I need to bring that up a little bit. And I can see that right here, I need a little bit more there. So really pushing it into the lash line. Now what is she doing? And now to connect the outer V with the transition shade and soften everything out, I'm using the shade Nurture. That's this one right here. I'm gonna have to change my lip color. That's okay, I wanted to just try that red out, but it's actually pink. I'm not talking a lot through this video, am I? I'm focusing. I'm gonna use a little bit of a stiffer brush just to get into that area right there. Making balance again. First okay. walking on the lower lash line. Devotion is the medium metallic eyeshadow. I'm going to press this onto my eyelid. That is Devotion. A little bit of nurture again to connect. Then back into nurture, tapping it right here to blend it all out. And I'm still gonna bring just a little bit right in there. I feel like I could use a little bit more. I have a fleck. Get up. She used a liquid liner. I'm scared. I don't have hers. This is Makeup Forever.
Let's take a break from the eye makeup for a second. I wanna check out this lipstick. It's very shiny, eh? Oh, well, 16 hour wear. I wonder if it just stains it. All right, let me get this off because I do want to use a nude. I'm just going to pounce some foundation on over top. This is a Lise Wache lip pencil and it's in the color nude. This is the My Dream lipstick. I already owned this one. I'm going to powder, mascara, and then I'll do the blush. And for the cheeks, I'm obviously going to use my mini dream glow lash. Look how beautiful. We have a medium and light mauve here and a highlighter shade. But for every day, I just love mixing them all. If I want to add some glow, I'm just picking the highlighter part with my finger and applying it on the highest points of my cheeks. Let's swirl it in. And then I'm gonna go into this one here. The My Dream Lip Gloss. Where is that? I own this one. I actually had so much fun doing this video. I just got in the zone and played and that made me so happy. So I love the way this turned out. Let me know if this is your kind of makeup. If it helped you out, that would be wonderful for me to find out. And let me know what you wanna see next. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.